Native Basketball Tournament opening ceremonies. We will be starting within five minutes. If you could please make your way into the gymnasium and find your seats, we will be starting the opening ceremonies in five minutes. Good evening, everybody. We are here at the 63rd Annual All Native Basketball Tournament and the excitement in the Russell Gamble Gymnasium is building. We are here for the opening ceremony with Lackel Zap Cultural Dancers, uh, getting ready to put on a big show for everybody here. I'm Pistol Pete Lanton, joining me on the broadcast, Kelly Kenny. Hey everybody, wow, you, if you have a chance, you still have five minutes to get down here to witness this momentous opening ceremonies of the 63rd Annual All Native Basketball Tournament. And the sponsors are NNV Johnson Northwest Regional, Airport Terrace, Kitimat, Seabridge Gold, and Your Nation, Your Station, CFNR. Yeah, well, the word on the street has been that this thing has been sold out for days. Mm -hmm. A lot of people walking around <laughs> trying to hustle up tickets here and there. I know I had to kind of pull some strings for some friends. And, uh, yeah, we expect, I mean, this is always a sellout at the All Native. It's uh, the highlight of the week. It really, truly is. And it, with it starting at 8 p.m., I feel like we're giving enough people to get off time off work, to be able to be a part of this, because, you know, not everybody gets to be here on every day. So if you have a chance, come on down. Yeah, and we're back to February, right? It's kind of getting the normal cycle of the All Native. And, mm -hmm. like I said, this is something that everybody likes to build up for. So maybe we talk a little bit about uh, who's hosting this year, Lackles App Cultural Dancers. I mean... I just know from experience, uh, it's a big deal, right, to, to, to host the All-Native, to do the opening. And, uh, I mean, we have a lot of information here, and it's a big year for Lackles App Cultural Dancers. Huge year. I mean, they're starting here at the All-Native Basketball Tournament, and then they're going to have their Hobie up in Lackles App. And then... Salmon Festival, I believe, in yeah, May. Yep. Salmon Festival in May. And then they are making the trip over to Hawaii because right, they've goodness. been invited to the ninth annual powwow in Hilo, Hawaii. So, you know, they get to go show those indigenous people what we do over here as indigenous people, which is really cool because you find so many similarities between the First Nations I found. No, absolutely. I think, yeah, what a great uh, story for this dance group. I mean, mm -hmm. we're getting some of the information they were created in 1996, you know, so there's, it does come from a grassroots place. And yeah, it's just uh, interesting to see how uh, how much momentum they can they can garner, you know, by like a couple, a few generations of dancers growing up uh, in this setting, you know, going from a grassroots local community dance group mm -hmm. to now traveling to Hawaii, for example, participating in you know an international type indigenous uh, fair. So well, one of the main goals of the Lackles Up Cultural Dancers is to keep the Nishkat language alive and language alive and culture alive. And uh, the Clark, who is one of the main people, he describes it as intergenerational learning experience, which I find so heartwarming because that's what it is. Our elders and our children learn together and we, the middle group, have to support them in all of this learning. So to see this, and there's over 150 dancers. So we have the matriarchs, the chiefs, the men, the women, the teenagers, the children, and the babies. And that the, watching the babies be carried by their parents, it's just something else. Yeah, the pictures that come out of opening ceremonies, you always see the images, and they're, just, mm -hmm. they're breathtaking, they're amazing. Mm -hmm. um, just looking at some of the information here, um, you know, the performance are narrated by Matthew Bright, mm. uh, who's a counselor with the Lackalzap Village Government. He introduces the songs and the stories um, but as a young boy, you know, there's a, more of a tragedy, uh, you know, when he talks about how, like, how far they've come. Mm -hmm. I know that uh, he said that uh, the late Bright was forced to watch missionaries burn regalia, drums, and anything traditional to the Lackalzap people in an effort to assimilate them. Mm -hmm. So really tonight, you know, and, uh, you know, them being honored and to host the All Native is really, uh, you know, how far they've come. Yeah, you just gave me goosebumps right there because this is what I think what our people need spiritually. I feel like we're starting to get our grounding and we're really showing up and we're showing the whole world what we're really about and that's just inclusion and love and so it's really amazing to watch it and to be a part of it to tell you the truth yeah so we do have a capacity crowd here and the other uh, aspect obviously of the opening ceremony is uh, all the teams are here mm. right so we're back uh, it's post covid now uh, everybody you know is feeling a little bit better now about uh, coming back into the gym and kind of hugging everybody and seeing everybody uh, but this is obviously an honor tradition to walk in as a member of the All-Native Tournament and playing in this tournament. So mm -hmm. for the players, it's a huge deal. Yeah, I got to say, you know, seeing the smiling faces, as much as I understood the masks, but the seeing the smiling faces is what it's about, you know, to, to be a part of it and together, to eat together, to be together, to watch the games together, to hurrah together. 
sometimes cry together. You never know. You never know what's going to happen at All Native. But it's a lot of fun. And if you, again, if you have a chance to come on down, come on down. Or head over to the live stream. Yeah, we have a week to go. I mean, the All Native started a day early yesterday. And uh, yeah, we have a long week of basketball ahead of it. But it starts here with the opening ceremony. And I think we're going to get ready to start here. All right. Could I have your attention, please? The chiefs are coming in, so if you could all rise, please.
And now, be patient. The love culture dancers.
Ladies and gentlemen, your 2023 All Native Tournament referees. Ladies and gentlemen, your local Jap ladies team. Local Jap intermediates. Aqualam's ladies team. The Aqualam's intermediates. The Aqualam's senior men's team. Lachlan's Masters. <laughs> Matlacatla Seniors, Matlacatla BC Seniors. Kit Kat Ladies Team. Kit Kat Intermediates. Kit Katla Masters. Kit Katla Seniors.
Prince Rupert women's team. Prince Rupert Intermediates. Prince Rupert Senior Men's Team. Prince Rupert Masters. The Hartley Bay Ladies Team. Hartley Bay Intermediates. Hartley Bay Seniors. Hartley Bay Masters. Ginkle Intermediates. Ginkle Seniors. And the Ginkle Masters. Gitwin Silk Masters. New Ianch Ladies Team. New Ianch Intermediates. New Ianch Seniors. And the New Ianch Masters. Kitimat Intermediates. Kitimat Ladies Team. Kitimat Seniors. Kitimat Masters. Gitmach Ladies Team. Gitsan Intermediates. The Hazleton Senior Men's Team. And 
the Gitsa Masters. Heidelberg Masters. Massett Ladies Team. It intermediates. Massett Senior Men's Team. And your Massett Masters. Skidigit Masters. Skidigit Intermediates. And the Skidigit Seniors. Bella Bella Ladies Team. Bella Bella Intermediates. Bella Bella Seniors. And the Bella Bella Masters. New Hulk Intermediates. New Hulk Seniors. New Hulk Masters. <laughs> Similkameen Ladies Team. Milkamine Seniors. <laughs> the Hesquit Ladies Team.
the Vancouver ladies team. Burnaby Senior Men's Team. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Before I give prayer for the teams, I'm going to ask that we all have a moment of silence for those that have passed on in the last year.
Heavenly Father, we come before you this evening. We give thanks for the safety of each and every person that has reached here safely. Heavenly Father, I ask you to bless each and every person that is involved in this all-native tournament. Keep them safe from all harm, dear God. Protect them. And when they have done their duties here, return them home safely to their homes. I ask this in Jesus' mighty and powerful name. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, before I call this individual out, and he's going to be calling out the chief, due to the fact that I don't want to make a mistake of calling, calling the wrong name, calling out the wrong name, and I don't want to put up a feast. So now I'm calling out Braden to call out his chief. Why sim giget, sim giget, lagi giget, so get him hana, couple whiles, had it hani in a gara gold zip tap. Go dak nah, di why you can have a kitties. I'd like to call upon our Samoyget Nagah to come up and speak for our Katis tribe and do the welcoming for the teams and everyone else in this building. Nagah ka. Good evening. Good evening. Why? Should we get? Should we not? Look at the gut. Couple of wells. Couple of wells and lock all arms. Nagash, the wayu. Kajish, Kanhara. First of all, we'd like to. Welcome all the teams, the players, the coaches, the managers, and I know there's a lot of hard work out there. Welcome throughout this week, and I hope you all enjoy your stay and be safe. and to the All-Native Tournament Committee. Thank you. Thank you for hosting this tournament. It's a wonderful tournament. And I hope you all stay safe throughout the week. Right up. At this time, I'd like to thank the Chiefs for that welcoming. And now I'll call out our Vice President, Eva Spencer. Why was chicken banana? The Kani Simke get Kani Newsim Luel de Jim Wap Slade Qua Lugalu Am Cordem will darkasim them hooks kissim despite while I'm Sagawan. Ladies and gentlemen, gives us great pride that we could have this gym full again after going through the tragic COVID 
and all the deaths we endured through that from every village. We did it through every village and every town. And if we were to have all the names mentioned as we would love to, we'd be here all night. So we will just put everybody in our thoughts and our prayers and blessings to everybody that is in mourning through this time. And at this time, I would like to thank all the spectators for coming out year after year, because without the spectators, we would not be able to do what we are doing this evening with the full gym. Thank you so much. And then, without the basketball players, we wouldn't be able to watch anything. So we thank you for coming out. And I, I do hope you all have a great week. Be safe. Look after each other because the times we're in now are very dangerous and we all know that and it's a given fact. All this alcohol mixed with drugs we're all we're all grieving from that so please let's look after each others and have a good time be safe and i'd like to thank the dancers that came for this opening for this very uh special occasion and so with that i will be handing an envelope over to the, the minister that blessed this opening, and also I will ask the dance leader when you are almost done, if then we can, the All Native Tournament Committee would like to present you with an envelope also, because we know it costs money to attend anything. So with that, everybody have a safe and fun week and a safe journey when you go back home again. Thank you all. Thanks, Eva. And now, the spectators up there and the spectators here haven't seen, haven't had the privilege to see you guys' faces. So first, could you all turn to the balcony and wave at acknowledgement to the... And, and now turn to your right. I'd like to thank the teams for, for that. And now I'd like to call out the mayor of Prince Rupert. Her pawn. The group after the speech, Lachal Jap will be doing the peace song. Why? Simgiget, Simgiget, Siganwanana, Lakagiget, the Kaba Walsik, Amagot, Diwayu, Lax Geek, Dip Diego, Kane, Diwiwatku. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the 63rd annual All Native Tournament. I want to give a shout out to all of the organizers and the referees and the volunteers and the coaches and the players and the fans. 
that have come from so far and so near. You are so welcome here. Thank you for coming. Thanks for being part of this celebration. Why what? Thank you, Herb. And Eva has one acknowledgement to announce. Thank you. Hi, sorry I forgot to do this. Uh, many of you seen the little kids that were walking around handing water? Well, that was our junior all native from Prince Rupert. So they were the ones that were handing water out to everybody. Thank you. <laughs> Now for the next speaker, the MP Taylor, to speak on behalf of Jennifer Rice. Taylor, please. Thank you, my friend. Zim giget, zim giget, segapananak, lega giget, kabawilzig, tla. Oh, I'm going to forget this one. <laughs> My name is Taylor Backrack. It's such an honor to be your member of parliament and to be with all of you here tonight to welcome you to the All Native Basketball Tournament. I want to, first of all, thank everyone who's traveled such a far way to be here tonight and to thank the Lakult Sap cultural dancers. The, the Super Bowl might have Rihanna, but we've got Lakult Sap. Let's hear it one more time. That's right. This is an event unlike anything all across Canada. It's not just about basketball, it's a celebration of unity and culture and pride from the people of the Northwest. And it's always such a deep honor to be here with all of you. I bring greetings from your member of the Legislative Assembly, Jennifer Rice. She wishes that she could be here, but she's at a very important event in Victoria with the New Hawk leadership, who are finally, after so many years, bringing the totem pole home from the Royal BC Museum to their home territory where it belongs. So to everyone, have a wonderful week. To all the players, good luck. Play hard. Toyksen Nissim, thank you for having me. Thank you, Taylor. And now, I'd like to call this young gentleman out here and out. Luke Lamb, thank you. Ama Yuxa, Simgigat, Sigamahanak, Ama Yuxa, good evening to everybody. It would be an honor for our group to join and have all the Niska in the room, and everybody please rise. We're going to sing a song of peace to all the players. We're going to sing a song that will give you good energy. Take your time. Be kind with one another. This song was probably sung between our nations and between our people for thousands of years. And we're here to sing it to you tonight to give you all a good start to this long week of basketball that you have. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you Gawagani.
Ladies and gentlemen, first of all, I'd like to thank Loch Galtza for that awesome peace song. And now there'll be an exit on the teams, and Loch Galtza will be sit drumming them out. Thank you.
Hello. Before the people from Metlakatla and Heidelberg leave, we challenged a couple of their teammates to come and dance with us because a lady named Melody Leesk in 1992 gifted this song to our dance group. And anybody from up in Metlakatla or Heidelberg, when you hear this song and you're ready to come out, we invite you out to the floor to dance to Spirit in the Water. It's very rare that people actually give me a mic anymore. I had walk around about the time we used to row around in canoes together, try to reinvigorate the spirit of our young people to stand with one another in a good way, to start to think of the songs that we shared with you earlier about peace, about love, about sharing. Sometimes we get caught up in the Gumsi Wow ways and we forget about our own ways. It's vitally important to understand some of the sharing that we have today. We were we were quite happy with watching all the people that were leaving with the teams, that they felt the beat of the drum. And before they even left their lineup, you see their feet start tapping. Even Taylor. <laughs> Gonna have to adopt you to luck all's up. 
Just so everybody is aware, we have the Hobie coming up on the what, 24th and 25th in Loch Calza. And as for the last, so yeah, go ahead, cheer. As you noticed, I'm giving them a bit of a break because it's kind of hard to sing a medley song for 30 minutes straight while people slowly walk in. <laughs> Next time they should do a light jog. Um, I wanted to tell everybody that when we, um, when we have Hobie, everybody's welcome to come and it's going to be a wonderful event this year. As many of you may know, the House of Nice Joth and Samogat Nice Joth where is Samogat Nis Joth? Samogat Nis Joth went over to Scotland and said, give me my pole back. <laughs> and the Scottish government listened to their family and they're sending the pole home to Loch Alzac. <laughs> It's pretty cool. So the next song we're going to do are tribal songs. And the last time we did this, we invited everybody out to dance. As many of you know, we're on our way to Hawaii to claim back our traditional territory of Hilo. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> we used to trade Ulican grease over there back in the day. But we are, we're going to the world powwow and we've been invited by the Hawaiians to come and we're going in September, this September, and we're so excited to go. I think we need summer regalia though. <laughs> so if you hear your tribal song, we're gonna do the tribal medley. And when you hear your tribe song, you're more than welcome to come up and stretch your legs. Why got Lucky Boo! Lucky Boo! Lasky Eagles
Ganetta, Frogs, Raven Clan. Gisgask, killer whales, blackfish, descend on the floor.
As you can tell, I'm Giscasque, so I saved all my brothers and sisters to come out and dance for you last, because we dance so good. Gee, did you guys see how many eagles were out here? It was almost like the Ulican got here already. Yeah, little Ganetta's hopping all over. It's awesome to see that. And you want to know one of the reasons why we sing that song? Because it's vitally important for us to understand some of what we call our ayuk, our laws. And a big part of our laws is gats. So it's not good to go with anybody that you dance with when you dance with your tribal, pe your tribal group. Because they're your brothers and sisters tribally. You can only go with another girl like a Ganada or a Lux Geek. And you want to know why that's important? It's important for all of us. And many of our nations recognize that amongst each other. And it's a vital teaching for all of us to continue to share because it's our law, no one else's law. And so I'm really grateful to share that. So Canada's youngest volcano is on Nishka land on our homelands, and the volcano is located approximately 50 kilometers from Gitwin Sith or Gitlach Damix. So when fire came down and the resultant smoke and ash and volcanic debris blanketed the river valley so much that daylight turned into darkness. Darkness came over the land. The sun was obliterated. There was tremendous fear and bewilderment amongst our people. After a long period of chanting and prayer, Suddenly, a young boy roused, roused his grandfather and exclaimed, Yet, yet, Duxquin, yet, Tlamasak! The skies have cleared. Ladies and gentlemen, Tlamasak.
Everybody wants to go home. Hey, just before you guys leave, don't forget it's 20 bucks ahead tonight. <laughs> I have to add tax because we have to pay tax. So I've been asked by the All Native Basketball Committee to call Eva out. Eva. She would like to come and have a chat with us. Really excited. Aye, yeah. She said, I'll, wait, I'll get, I'll get the envelope first. <laughs> okay, thank you very much for the wonderful um, dancing that happened this evening. And so on behalf of all the spectators in this hall, the, the money you paid to come in to watch this evening is all in this envelope, and it goes to the dance group. So with that, we'll to I'm going to go to the casino for a bit. They're going to sing you another song. I'll double it, Bill. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, we're going to begin our exit and we're going to sing the Limp Bill Walks, the Common Bowl song. And then we're going to start our exit. And once we start our exit, we're going to ask everybody to rise on our last, so last verse. When you see the chiefs rise, everybody will get up. You can get also stand during the common bowl song. Go. Might as well stand the whole time. You guys have just been sitting around. Why go?
Well, 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 wow, wow, wow. That was something to feel, to witness, to take in. If you didn't see it, I had goosebumps the whole time. <laughs> Am I right, Peter? I didn't think it was possible to get goosebumps that many times in so many consecutive moments. Uh, yes. I can't believe that was two hours. I mean, we're exhausted, just immersed in the culture, immersed in the energy of the room. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But we were so amazed by watching the dance group. They, they were amazing. They stood, they sang, the they danced stamina. for two hours. Yes. Some of them had children on their back. It two. Some of them had two children on their back, and we had elders. And I even got down there with one of our coworkers' little girls and had to dance. We had to dance. We have to take part of it. And I think that's what our culture is, is being a part of it and witnessing it in its entirety. So, Yeah, and wow. you really think about the energy it brings to the tournament. I mean, the it's, it's just it's the proper way to do it. It uplifts uh -huh. everybody. It grounds us in the culture. Unifies and it, and it, us. And it just kind of, yeah, it gets us ready for the week. And, yeah. Uh, oh, I feel like... Uh, it's like a million bucks right now. I know my, my soul cup, my spirit cup is so full right now. And I want to thank the Lackalzap Cultural Dancers as they are the largest dance group in the Nishkut Nation. They did such a good job. And I wish them all on their journeys that they're going to be doing here. I mean, the Salmon Fest and then you got their, I mean, invited to Hawaii to a powwow to go present there. Like, that's pretty amazing stuff. That's amazing. It's a big year for Lackalzap and you can see why. I mean, that dance group has, this, it's just an amazing thing to see. I'm glad everybody got to tune in here on uh, on your your nation, your station, CFNR, and uh, yeah. we're just happy to bring it to you, Kelly. It was a great yeah. evening. It was a great evening, and we have to thank our sponsors for this great evening: NNV Johnson, Northwest Regional Airport, Terrace Kitimat, Seabridge Gold, and your nation, your station, CFNR. You know, you'll be able to see this on the live stream. And it's happening right now, but you can always go back to it. it. There's so many great things to be a part of in this culture. So stay tuned. There's more to come. It's just the start of the week. And it's boy, are we excited. 63rd All Native. It's yes. officially opened in the right way. And hope everybody has an amazing week. Kelly, yourself, yes. and all the crew. Yeah. So thank you so much for tuning in. This is Your Nation, Your Station, CFNR. Kelly Kenny and Crystal P. Lanton. Have a great evening. Woohoo. Thank you.